What's you guys got another video here for you on how to back up and restore all your games on your Epic Games uh, launcher account. So if you've got games on there that you want to transfer to another PC, then I'll show you how to do it in this video. So first, let's download the Epic Games uh, launcher from the official website here. And basically, when you put this onto a brand new PC and sign in, you'll see the library of games that you have there. But basically what's going to happen is they're not going to be downloaded onto that computer. So it's important that you back up all of your games from your other machine that you've got them downloaded on. And it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. I'll show you that part in a second. And uh, we're going to install this onto this machine here. So I wanted to show you the whole process just to make it easy for you to understand. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. But the Epic Games Launcher works different to uh, Steam. So on Steam, it's quite easy to transfer games from PC to PC. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make that video for you. The same thing for Origin and other types of platforms like this. You have to do a slight different way of getting your games to work. Now, what I'd advise you to do is buy yourself an SSD or a drive that you can put all of your games onto and then you don't have to keep downloading the whole game again. Now, for instance, the Grand Theft Auto 5 is 90 gigabytes. Uh, Red for Dead Redemption 2, I think it is, is like 120 gigabytes. That's quite a lot of uh, data to download each time, and it can really slow up your process of playing games. So I'm going to get this installed on here. It's just going to install the prerequisites uh, for Epic Games. And I'll speed this process up. And once we've got this, we can open up the uh, platform here and we can see what sort of games we've got here. So, okay, so you should see something like this. I need to just quickly uh, sign into this account. Now, this would be on a brand new machine like you're seeing here. So I'm going to quickly put in my details and we can move on to the next stage. So here we go. So we're just going to prepare to log in. And you should see something like this when you first log in onto that computer. So let me go to library here. And here you'll see there's a couple of games that I've got here, um, or actually more than a couple of games, three games. But you can see that we haven't got them installed. Now, I've already got, say, for instance, the Grand Theft Auto 5 backed up. So if I go to click on this, it wants me to install this onto uh, my C drive. And that's okay because we can install it on our C drive and then pause it and then copy our files across. But if you want to play them from an external source, then I'll do that in another video. But I've plugged into my external drive now. You can see it's located down the bottom right hand corner here. And this is the drive here. Now, this video is not about playing these games from an external source, this is about copying the files over to your brand new computer. So you can see this is the folder I backed up before. It's 89 gigabytes in size. So the problem is that you'll have here, if you click on this and say, for instance, navigate to your GTA 5 and click on this folder, it will tell you that the directory needs to be empty. And that's where you're going to run into problems if you want to play it from there. You have to do a bunch of different stuff to get that to work. And I'll make that another video. But what we're going to do is copy this to our C drive and I'll show you basically how to get this to work by copying the files and transferring them over. So select a destination where you want to install the game. So I'm going to go to C root directory here and put it inside here. So we're just going to select and basically this will create a folder for us called GTA 5. So just select any sort of folder really. There we go. It's going to put us into C colon backslash GTA 5 and uh, click install. Once that starts to install, you can then pause that process. So go to the downloads area. You'll see it starting to download. And what you want to do here is hit the pause button. Once you hit the pause button, that will stop the installation. And we don't need to install anymore because we've already got those files. So what we want to do is drop this down uh, to the taskbar here you don't want to close this off so just let me just stop that there and then what we can do here is go back to the location where we've got our files and we can go into our c drive here 
So you can see we've got GTA 5 in here, and we need to in, look inside here, and you can see there's an EG store. This is the store that we need to copy the files into. Now, this is where all your download files are going to go. So we're going to go over to our external drive and copy all of the files inside our external drive to our new uh, folder on our C root directory or wherever you've installed uh, your game. You need to copy those files across to that location. So I'm going to select all and then copy all of these files. And then basically what I'm going to do is go back to my folder where I've started the download process, which is on my C drive. And then go here, inside here, inside the GTA 5, and then I'm going to paste all of them files in here. Now, if it says there's already files inside here, do you want to overwrite them? Just say yes to all and basically overwrite those files. Let them files copy across. And basically that will take some time. Just make sure you've got enough space on that drive to copy those files across. Now, of course, some games will require more space, but if you've got them all backed up, it saves you having to download them. So we're going to close all of this off now, and we can go back to our Epic Games Launcher and close that off and go down to the bottom right-hand side where Epic Games Launcher is and right-click and exit that. So you're you sure you want to exit, say yes. And then basically what we need to do now is reopen our Epic Games Launcher. And once we open this up, what we're going to do is resume our download process on our library. Go to the library and you'll see Grand Theft Auto is paused here and it needs to be resumed. So if I click on this now, what it's going to do is verify that folder. It's going to check the folder to make sure all of the files are there. And because we've got the files in there, it will verify what files need to be downloaded and it's going to start to install those files. I've speeded that process up. It does take a bit of time. But once you've done that, it's going to ask you to download the Rockstar uh, installer here. So I'm going to download this. It automatically starts. And all you need to do here is because we've already got sign in here on our Epic Games, it should install and allow you to start to play the game. And this is going to save you a lot of time from having to download 90 gigabytes of data, especially if you're on a slow internet connection. That's why it's important to have a large drive with all of your backup folders. Now, like I said, all you need to do is go into your Epic Games Launcher or wherever you've installed all of your games and then copy them folders over to an external drive. And then basically you're good to go. Now, if you want to run these from an external source, you can do, and I'll make another video to show you how to do that. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. But basically, that's how you can uh, transfer all of the game files uh, from your Epic Games Launcher uh, to a brand new PC and then start playing them instantly with a couple of simple steps just like that. Now, Steam works in a different way, and Steam is a much more easier process. So if you want to know how to do Steam, where you can download all your games to a folder, uh, basically, you can play those from an external source a lot easier on the Steam platform. But if you want to see those videos, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So the best way to set this up is get yourself a large capacity drive, which you can then copy all of your games from Steam that you play on a regular basis from Epic uh, Games, Origin, and all these locations, you can copy those folders over to that massive storage device, which preferably is a USB type storage device, which you can plug in to your computer. And that way, when you want to transfer or wipe your PC clean and reinstall Windows or anything like that, all you need to do is basically put the launcher on and then copy those games over. And it takes you no time at all to be able to play all your games as quick as that. It's that simple to transfer all your games over. Also, if you're doing benchmarking and things like that, it saves you having to keep downloading all of those games, which does take you a fair bit of time, especially if you're on a slow internet connection. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below what videos you want to see next, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all.
to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.